Today in the news, Nvidia keeps doing its old is new thing and Intel makes a move that we haven't seen in two years. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with Nvidia. Did you guys want more GPU choices? I mean, it doesn't really matter if you get one according to Nvidia, but do you want more models available? No? Well, too bad, because Nvidia's got you covered. The company just released a trio of brand new GPUs for laptops. First, there's an update to their MX chips. We got the uh, MX550 and the MX570. As is, the company always had a 50 series of MX chips, but never a 70. So it's going to be interesting to see what this one's specs will be. Unfortunately, Nvidia seems to make a point to keep those specs out of the public eye. The same thing happened with the MX450 back then when it released. It, we won't know until uh, you know someone actually checks it within their laptops. So that was the MX chips. Now the third GPU for laptop that got released by the green team is the RTX 2050. Yep, once again, the company is bringing back an older GPU. What's odd though are the specifications. I mean, the RTX 2050 never existed. It was a, a 16 series of GPUs back then. And when we look at the specs, this thing beats the specs of an RTX 2060 mobile in some cases. It has 2048 CUDA cores as compared to 1920, and the boost clocks are just a little bit behind. With the increase in CUDA cores, you of course get more RT and tensor cores, so that's good. The big downside is on the memory bandwidth side. You get a measly 64-bit bus instead of the 192-bit of the 2060. And in terms of VRAM, you get four gigabytes. All of the GPUs that I talked about up until now are going to be available in the spring of next Next year, so we got a couple of months to spare. Now, thankfully, if you're looking for a laptop, they are pretty easy to find. You can get a pretty good laptop equipped with an RTX 3060 starting at like 900 bucks. So if this new chip comes in at a reasonable price point, I'd say go laptop all the way. It's pretty much a budget build in the laptop form factor. We do live in a GPU apocalypse after all, which brings me to the question. With the current market, if you were to build a brand new system right now, would you just go laptop? I mean, all things considered, the prices are slightly more sensible and the shortage is far from over. So I'm curious, let me know what you think down below. Next up, let's talk about Intel. It looks like the company is about to make a similar move to their uh, 2019's desperate 9900KS. According to sources at videocards.com, the company is planning on releasing a pre-binned CPU for early next year. This is because AMD is on track to show their new Ryzen CPUs equipped with the 3D vCache in early 2022. So Intel needs something to keep their current small but still existing gaming crown. Now, of course, the CPU that gets the KS treatment is the 12900K, so 12900KS. And essentially, it would be a pre-binned CPU with an all-core clock boost of 200 megahertz, making it go all the way up to 5.2 gigahertz, all-core. I mean, that's if you keep it cool, but still, it's impressive. With these kinds of clocks, this has got to have a PL2 of 300 watts or something compared to the PL2 of 270 watts on the non-KS version. Also, with Intel, the company has leaked its own information. We now have the official names for some of their GPU lineup, and, well, it's exactly what we heard through leaks and rumors. In the test driver that was accidentally put on their website, we can see that the uh, Alchemist GPUs will be named A380 and A350. There are also what I guess are mobile variants called the A370M, A350M, and A200M. According to what we know so far, these are definitely not their top end cards. So we'll have to wait to see what those are called. Next up, let's get a free game check. Do you like neon colors? How about 2D shooters? Well, I have both. On the uh, Epic Game Store, you can get Neon Abyss for free until next Thursday. Now, I've been playing a similar game on my phone for a while now, and I'm pretty excited to try this one out. It's worth about 20 bucks, so if you know someone who's uh, you know short on cash but wants to game a little bit, let them know about this one. Not only that, but the store currently has their holiday sale. There's a promo where you can get a $10 coupon for uh, games that are $14.99 or more. So, 
you know, starting price for a game is five bucks at this point. And it's pretty insane because I would barely call this a coupon. As is, you can reuse it as often as you'd like. I know that some of you don't like Epic, but you gotta admit that these deals are pretty sweet. In any case, guys, that is pretty much it for the catch-up today. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. I mean, I tried, but I can't really. I mean, the love was sink, but the drop heavy.